this morning I got up nice and early and I walked in and when I got I started sneaking up from the main stream down there and I heard a hee haw up the hill but it sounded it was not a good hee haw or anything only like four but the last one was shit and so I snuck up snuck up closer to him and he did another one then I snuck up again and he and I waited for ages and he didn't do anything so I let out a single call and a couple mews and nothing so then I started heading back down and I was thinking that as soon as I head back down he's probably gonna do it again and sure enough he does it again so I head back up and then I start hearing weird like real weird moaning and so that was I don't know how far over there 200 meters maybe so I went up there and I then I started hearing him mewing and doing weird single calls but I couldn't tell if there were two or not at one point I thought there were two maybe but I wasn't sure so I got right in close and he'd do the odd one and the wind felt good coming down into my face and I waited there for, waited quite close to him for bloody ages and he did nothing so I did a few I did quite a few mews didn't get any replies or anything then eventually started sneaking uphill towards him and I heard something spook and now I think it was the hind spooking and then the stag started doing its little bleats at the hind and started chasing it so I I was following them too doing the odd mew and I've come about 200 meters mew and then he'd do his bleat back to me and I, I was losing them and I got to across that side of that garden I heard like clashing and at first I thought it was the two stags fighting but then I saw one of them and it looked like he was I, well at the time I thought he was rocking a tree so I shot him and that's where he's ended up but it was two stags fighting and so I quickly come across here after the shot and saw that he was down and I saw the other stag sneaking off up there so I started going up and I saw him again and then he spooked, whistled at me and buggered off and he looked big. His antlers definitely didn't look little. But just looking at his coronets they look massive. So they might have both been big but I don't know. That other one could have been huge. So I may have made a mistake but at the like right before the shot I thought he was rocking up a tree but before that it was it sounded like they were fighting and they were fighting so I just shot him behind the shoulder and he it felt good and I saw him walk backwards so I knew he was buggered when I was over there I could smell him so the what is the date 28th of May and they're still going for it Looks pretty good. Not a very big body. You can see the shot went in. He was sort of facing away from me like that, so it went in there and it may have come out in front of the shoulder. Holy, he's a nice one. Those coronets are massive. He might be a bit old, which is good. But I still don't know if he was the big one. <laughs> when, when that other one up there ran away, he looked wide and long and big. But that's not me complaining, I'm happy. I'll just have to come back tomorrow. He's not that little. Now that I've plumb and dragged him, he's normal size. Those coronets are massive. Mean. This is 
we were, the two of them were fighting on this hill. He fell right here when I shot from. Across there. I'd say in a straight line, it'd maybe be, yeah, it'd be 50. Probably the longest I've ever shot a seeker. I got a that other one was sneaking off up there and I saw him and then he whistled and bolted that way and I could see him tr like just glimpses of him going that whole way but I could not hear him absolutely silent even when he's going like full bore <laughs> 